So now this is question number eight from the miscellaneous uh, exercise, chapter eight, based on questions based on trigonometric functions. Now in this question, we know the value of tan x as minus four by three, where x lies in the second quadrant. And then we have to get the values of sin x by two, cos x by two, and tan x by two. Now similar to a uh, previous two question here also, we are going to use this identity as a uh, cos 2a, that is half angle property, cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. But as we can see here that we have tan here, so we cannot use this directly. So the tan has to be first converted into sec, and then sec can be converted into cos, and then we can apply this identity to get x by 2. So this is what we are going to do in this case. Now, the very first thing that we'll do is to convert tan in terms of sec. We know that it is sec square x is equal to 1 plus tan square x. So, replacing tan with its value, that is uh, tan is here minus 4 by 3, whose square is 16 by 9. So, it's going to be 25 over 9. And therefore, if I get sec x, it should be plus minus under root. So that is uh, under root 25 is 5 by 9. Now check here the quadrant, the quadrant x x lies on this quadrant, that is uh, second quadrant. And in second quadrant, sec is negative. So I'll be placing a minus sign. Now once we get the value of sec, we can uh, figure out what is cos and cos x by 2. Uh, sorry, cos x is cos x should be reciprocal of sec, which is minus 9 by 5. Okay, as uh, this is under root nine. Okay, I made a mistake. So this is uh, minus five over three, right? So if I have to get cos x, its reciprocal is minus three over five. That will be the value of cos. And cos as well as sec is negative on this this quadrant. We are on the second quadrant as it is given here. Now once we got this. Uh, Cos. Now we are going to apply this identity. We are going to apply this identity to obtain cos x by 2. Right. So based on this, we can say that we have cos x as it should be equal to 2 times cos square x by 2 minus 1. So I am going to replace cos x with its value and replacing this with minus 3 by 5 is equal to and transposing this minus one to the left it should become plus one and whatever it comes that divided by two should be equal to cos square x by two so this is if i take lcm this is five minus three right five into one is five five minus three is two two by that is two over five into one over two if further this also get cancelled this is the value of cos square x by 2. So if I have to get cos x by 2, I should say it is plus minus under root 5. Now we have to figure out uh, in which quadrant x by 2 lies. So we can see here that uh, x lies in the second quadrant. That is x is second quadrant is what? This is pi by 2 and this is pi. So x lies x which is uh, greater than 90 degree. That is pi by 2 and less than pi, but we need to get x by two. As you know, x by two, so we will be multiplying half. If you multiply half on all sides, we get this x by two, as it lies between pi by four to pi by two. That means pi by four to pi by two. So it lies on the second quadrant, the first quadrant. And in first quadrant, all trigonometric angles are positive. So you can say that x lies here, but x by 2 lies in the first quadrant, and in first quadrant, all trigonometric ratios are positive. So we'll be writing positive. We'll be writing this is equal to positive. So we got the value of cos x by 2, and we can also obtain sine x by 2 and tan x by 2 in the same manner. So for that, I need some space here. Let's see if I get the value over here.
Now we are going to get the value of sin x by 2. So we can use this relation that sin square x by 2 should be is equal to 1 minus cos square x by 2. So therefore sin x by 2 will be under root plus minus under root 1 minus. The square of this is 1 by 5. So we can say that sin x by 2 is equal to we are uh, we have x by 2 in the first quadrant so therefore it should be positive so we may simply write positive and this is 5 minus 1 that is under root 4 so this is under root 4 over 5 we can say this is under root 4 is 2 so that is 2 root 5 that is the value of sin x by 2 so once we have the value of cos x by 2 sin x by 2 we can easily obtain the value of tan x by 2 and tan is what sine by cos. So we can say that we have tan x by 2 is equal to sine x by 2 that is 2 by root 5 that divided by cos x by 2 which is root 5 by 1 because dividing is same as multiplying with the reciprocal and if I reduce it further you can see that root 5 and root 5 get cancelled so we get 2 as the answer for the tan x by 2. So our final answer for tan x by 2 is 2. So we had to determine sin x by 2 whose value we have obtained as this. We had to determine cos x by 2 which is this and tan x by 2 which is 2. And that's how this question is completed.